Hello there. This is Greg from Microsoft Hates Greg or Microsoft Hates Greg's Quick Measures. Today we're going to be talking about how to get uh, Microsoft Hates Greg's Quick Measures inst tool installed on your own uh, PC so that you can start using it in Power BI desktop. So as you can see, I've got uh, my GitHub repository open for Microsoft Hates Greg's Quick Measures. Uh, the the link for uh, this GitHub repository is in the, the video description. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and download the latest, which is Microsoft Hates Greg's Quick Measures Beta, uh, the alpha version, which had about 30 some quick measures in it, um, is out there as well. The beta adds another 40 or so quick measures that uh, you can use. So what we're going to do is once you get out here to the page, all you have to do is uh, click on the beta zip and hit download. And it's going to download the file. And once that completes, then we can go ahead and open up the downloads directory and we've got our mushgookum beta zip file sitting here. Now, no, I realize that I don't have an install installer. I just didn't spend the time to create, create an installer for it, um, but it's not too difficult. In fact, the, the actual instructions are right here in the README file. It only consists of less than 10 steps to get this thing downloaded and installed, um, but you'll be able to watch this video and get it installed in 10, 15 minutes and have it up and running. So what you want to do is once you have the zip file downloaded, easiest thing to do, and you may have a different icon depending on whether you have a zip tool, extraction tool installed or something like that. Um, but the easiest thing I find is just say open, click right, right click on it, say open with, and then Windows Explorer. And so now we're here and we've got the zip file and here's all the code or the compiled code and all of that is uh, is right there. So all you have to do is right click and say copy and then just pick some place to, to, uh, to put this. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put it right in program files for right now and I can right click and hit paste. And it's going to go ahead and extract it. And I should end up with a new folder, Microsoft Hates Greg's Quick Measures. And here we go. There's all of the files that are installed. And what you'll find in here is a JSON file that is Microsoft Hates Greg's Quick Measures .pbi tool, and it's a .json file. So what we're going to want to do with this is we're going to want to copy this file. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start on the C drive and go into Program Files x86. And then we're going to go into Common Files, Microsoft Shared, and then Power BI Desktop, and then the External Tools directory. And as you can see, I've already got this one is my debug version. I'm working on the Gamma uh, version, the next version of the tool. But we can go ahead and paste this JSON file here. Now, what you're going to want to need to do is you're going to need to go ahead and open it with something like Notepad, and you're going to need to change the path. All right. So where we installed this was on C program files and then Microsoft hates Greg's quick measures. So we can, what we can do here is we can just copy this file path. And we're going to replace this path. Paste that in now. It's a JSON file, so we have to use double backslashes anytime that there's a backslash. And it should be Microsoft hates Greg's quick measures.exe. Once we have that, then all we have to do is save this. And then we're going to have to relaunch uh, Power BI. So if you have any open windows of Power BI, um, the external tool is not going to show up um, until you launch a new version of Power BI. So let's go ahead and launch a new version of Power BI right now. Hopefully it comes up on the right screen. Not I have to move it there. Okay. All right, so I'll go ahead and open up. I've got my test PBIX file that I use for all my testing purposes. And then we'll go to the external tools. And as you can see, here is my original, my Microsoft Hates Greg debug version. And here's the one that we just installed and activated, Microsoft Hates Greg. If I click on this then, I 
me click on this then. Oh, it opened up on the wrong screen, but here it is. So here's the tool. Um, it's all installed, it's all usable, and uh, and you're all set to go. So that's it for the installation. It's that easy. Um, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you want to uh, be keep kept informed of uh, any new videos that we're coming out with. Again, we'll be going into some of the release schedule, and we'll also be going into some of the code uh, for some of these different uh, quick measures that you can create using the tool. Probably should choose a year column and choose my week num column. And this, what this sequential does is this creates a sequential week um, that spans multiple years. So it doesn't reset, you know, to week one, you know, on you know, every year and that sort of thing. So we'll go into all of these in subsequent videos, but thanks for watching and uh, hope you uh, learned something and hope you can get this tool installed and start using it.